waterlogged on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Perhaps you've been browsing through our website or even had one of these catch your eye at a trade show, but did you know that saltwateraquarium.com sells rock flower anemones? Yep, that's right. Now, if you don't know that much about them, this video is going to tell you a little bit about them and hopefully by the end have you wanting to add one or maybe five to your tank. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk a little bit about them, starting off with their looks. So these are a disc-shaped anemone. So they've got that main disc that makes up most of their body. Their mouth is gonna be in the center of it and around the outside edge is going to be up to 200 different arms or tentacles. Now, what makes these pretty unique is that some of those tentacles can be smooth, but they can also be, I guess you could call them serrated. They remind me of uh, Godzilla's back, how they have those spines going down. So I really appreciate the small intricate details like that. Maybe you will too. Now, I mentioned it's a disc shape, so you might be wondering what size. Um, depending on what ones you get, they can range anywhere from just around an inch, maybe a little bit less, to two inches in diameter when you first get them. And as they grow during the course of their life, they can get up to four inches of, in diameter in your tank. Now, if you're lucky enough to go scuba diving and see one in the wild, they can be eight inches wide. So that's pretty impressive. But their size and shape really isn't that much of a wowing factor for people. Color is typically what catches their eye. Now, these anemones are brightly colored. They are made up of all sorts of neon colors, and even some of the more monochromatic ones really stand out in a tank. Now, as you might guess, the price for the rock flower anemones is often based on some of those patterns and the colors. So some of those more ultra colored ones are gonna be a little bit higher in price. On average, you can maybe spend, I would say between $15 and $30 for a decent one. Um, if you want one of those ultras or those super fancy ones, they can get up to $200. So it really depends on what you're looking to add in your tank. Now let's go and move on to another reason that people love them and they're fairly popular, and that's because they stay put. They're committed to their area. They don't move around. Unlike other anemones that people are gonna be keeping, rock flower anemones, once you put them in the tank, they're gonna hunker down into that substrate um, along the rock work. So when you're thinking about placing them, you wanna put them somewhere between the middle and the bottom of the tank. They will um, situate themselves in some of the holes in the rockwork or um, in the substrate. If you have a specific spot that you want to put them in, you can use one of the little anemone cages, but for the most part, you don't have to worry about that sort of stuff. Now, when it comes to placement, you should also be keeping light and flow into consideration. So rock flower anemones prefer both low to moderate light and flow. So make sure you find them an area that fits the bill for both of those. Now let's talk a little bit about feeding, right? We always wanna feed our corals to have them looking great and to have them grow. Rock flower anemones are photosynthetic, so they are able to take care of themselves thanks to that zooxanthellae that are within their cells. However, we all feed our tanks, so what should you be feeding for them? Well, they're carnivores, so any bits of meaty food, if it's floating around in the water column, they have sticky um, tentacles, so they can grab stuff that floats by. Now, if you don't wanna just rely on having them pull stuff out of the water column, you can also do target feeding. If you do that, just make sure that the foods you're offering them aren't too big for them to eat. And you don't have to stick it on their mouth. You could stick it on the edge of their tentacles and they'll pull it in. Just make sure that if you're feeding, you don't pull something that's frozen or refrigerated and put it directly on them. Let that warm up to the tank temperature. They won't appreciate being frozen. Okay, let's move on to what kind of compatibility these guys have. Now, rock flower anemones are great with other rock flower anemones, which means you can have a whole rock flower garden. And I've seen photos of them on Instagram and on social media, and they're absolutely stunning. If you wanted to just have a tank of them, why not go for it? But they also get along fairly well with other corals. They're pretty docile and not that aggressive, although they do have those stinging cells on their tentacles that they're able to protect themselves with if they need to. 
Now, they get along fairly well with most fish that you might be keeping. However, a couple words of warning. If you are thinking of putting clownfish in there and having them pair up like you would some of the other enemies, I would not recommend that. Something else I would steer clear of is some of those sand sifters like the starfish. Now, the reason for that is if the rock flower anemone is in the substrate, its foot is down in there, and the sand sifting star will come along, it could possibly eat and irritate that foot. And since it's under the substrate, the anemone really doesn't have a way to protect itself. So if you need a sand sifter, maybe steer clear of some of those. Now, one thing that they are known for is forming symbiotic relationships. So if you want to see a symbiotic relationship with a rock flower enemy, consider pairing them with something like a sexy shrimp or a porcelain crab. So it's pretty cool to see. Now, like I said, you can put multiple rock flower anemones in one tank and they'll get along great. In fact, they'll get along so well that they might even spawn. So if you're lucky enough to have them spawn in your tank, a lot of times you'll see the babies kind of towards the base of them underneath that main edge of their disc. They're going to be a lot paler and as they grow up, they'll gain more color and settle out a little bit further just outside of their parents. All right, that's going to conclude this video. If you already have rock flower anemones in your tank, I would love to see a photo of them, especially if you have a whole bunch. I think they're absolutely beautiful. Okay, this has been Hillary for Waterlogged on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.